calm day here and we are going out on a boat which is perfect weather lucky us on one of those boats okay so here we go the water is so clear this is yeah, That's it. Fish restaurant. Ah. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh my god! This is amazing! If this is not the most magical place, Magical place. Look at this water clarity. Seriously, I am so glad we got to see it because we're going to have a close up look tomorrow, but that is beautiful clarity. This is crazy, this water. I just want to hop in, but I don't know what's living under that big ledge. So maybe not. Unbelievable. We're about to go for a little swim in this. How lucky are we? Well, that was amazingly refreshing. And now we have Prosecco and snacks. Um, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Wow, that was just amazing. So, so beautiful. Look at this water behind me. Anyway, we're gonna probably just, I don't know, just keep looking at the photo and video from this trip. It was an amazing hour. These are the gates of the main course. It's a lovely hotel. Hi, Gary. Titro Antico de Terima. Let's go. Chili here. Titro Antico. Here we are at the top level of the theatre. Beautiful. <laughs> Bit of a uh, stage lighting, modern invention. Gorgeous. The fact that this is still used is amazing. Imagine walking around here in the middle of the night. <laughs> you definitely be wearing your um your Birkenstocks, that's for sure. We just missed out seeing Andrea Vicelli here by a week. So sad. Just a beautiful outlook of Tommy. Look at this place. It's so cute. Another town, another church, another gallery. Oh my god, I did not see this yesterday. How pretty. Gorgeous. I've got something being wrapped up at the moment, guys. So, um, you'll find out what it is 
Check these sunglasses out though. Cute. I feel like I need these too. Good. I'm very, very excited. You guys will never guess what I got. overlooking Isola Bella but we can't see it because it's dark but this is the octopus wrapped in crispy bacon with chickpea puree and I'm having anchovy chippies <laughs> and just to prove that there is no view there you go there's lights out there uh, Isola La Bella Risotto with scampi and Mr. Addiction's ordered steak and fries. Well, it's night to three in Tarmina and it's been fabulous. We just had a lovely dinner at Il Gabbiano, which is just up from the White Lotus Hotel, which we're just about to go past and you can't see anything from the road. Um, so we're just walking back to our hotel. Look at all these stairs. Oh my goodness. And the rubbish. It must be bin day tomorrow. Trash day. Whatever you call it where you're from. Um, but yeah, I suppose I better cross the road because I might get run over. But I'll see you tomorrow when we go to Etna and a winery for lunch. Because, you know, we're still undecided on Sicilian wine. Digging through there? So, yeah, we are inside a, a typical cave of Mount Etna, mm. which get formed because when the lava stream is flowing, the surface starts to cool down immediately. Yeah. Makes a formation like of the roof. Mm -hmm. This became like a roof. But inside, the inner part of the lava is still in it, is still flowing for a long time. Mm -hmm. When the eruption finish, there's not any more emission of lava. Uh, this became an empty space because there's, when the eruption stop uh, and the crater is not uh, pushing magma lava, mm -hmm. uh, the level inside the channel decreases mm -hmm. and leave empty pipe like this. So yeah. this is how the cave on Mount Etna get formed. And we call this dog teeth, yeah. like stalactite. Mm -hmm. But these are stalactite of lava mm -hmm. because uh, uh, the activity is not always the same during the eruption. Maybe mm -hmm. it starts to decrease the activity. There is a little gap between uh, the lava uh, and the roof that is already formed. So we just climbed out of there, which is a lava pipe. If you heard Aaron talking, it's um, pretty amazing. See the volcanic soil? He said there's no waterways here and no big animals because the ground is so porous that it can't hold water. We're inching closer and closer to Etna and the volcanoes are named after women. They're female because they're beautiful and gentle and powerful. How fabulous is that? And also Medusa. And the Medusa the is a part of the Sicilian national emblem because the Medusa is all about the eye and so is the volcano. Yeah, and then it fell down here. Bomba Lariga. There are lava bombs with it which are double the size of our car we are driving today. Oh. Okay, I've been training for this. 
<laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, we take it slow. Even those two hills in front of us with the forest on it are craters. Prehistoric are craters. Lava fields. Wow. See this little bush here? It's the only source of water for wildlife. It's plenty of water, this kind of bush called the Rumex. Uh, it tastes like lemon, it's a bit acid, it's a nice tasting, it's edible even for us. This is very cool, mm. in the wild. So, from this from place you have a view of, from the alignment of the fracture. Mm. Lava fields. Right through. The sea and Talmina. So, if you look behind me, we're on top of a crater, an old crater, it's no longer active because you know that would be dangerous. But um, as long as it goes dead, that would not be a thing in Australia, um, which is why we love coming over overseas because safety is like not number one. from the 2002 eruption. Look how sick that is. Fall of the 2002 eruption. <laughs> the old road stopped. It stops from the left and even from the right. Oh, okay. It's the road to nowhere. <laughs> and now we will exit at the new road that they build over the 2002 lava stream. Okay. So keep on the video. Yeah. You can uh, really understand how a lava stream from Mount Etna increased the height of the ground mm. because of the lava stream. That is amazing. It's the formation of a new lane, new soil. Now I need to speed a little bit. Eh? Okay, go. <laughs> Lava built. Middle of the 2002 lava stream. On wow. the new road. After all that exploring, it's time for lunch at Palmento Costanzo. So, Etna is a DOC area and these are all the different regions on Etna. And we're trying two of their Bianco wines at the moment. Different blends, I cannot remember what they were. This one's really easy drinking. This one is meant to be more minerally and sharp, which is typically my modus operandi when it comes to a white wine. And let's see. Mm-hmm. This is like a nice sharp Riesling without the floral notes of a Riesling. Like a dry Riesling I'm talking about, not a sweet one. But so far they're both delicious and very generous pours. Local antipasti with sheep's milk cheeses from the local area. Small white pig salami, sun-dried tomatoes to go with the first wine 
and then bruschetta with stracciatella cheese and then anchovy to go with the second one. Next, we have the rosato and the red, the light bodied red. And you'll notice that one glass is still empty, so who knows what's coming. And this amazing ricotta pasta, cheesy goodness to eat. That's what I thought of that. One down, one to go. Baked potatoes and meatballs wrapped in lemon leaf with a medium bodied one and a full bodied one. Fresh lemon granita to finish. If I could take a video of Mr. Addiction's face. Oh, you'd see. <laughs> it's a squinting, pruny face. So I'll show you mine. Ready? I don't know what your problem is. It's same, same. <laughs> sour and sour. Well, this isn't a beautiful way to spend our life dating. I don't know what it is. Look at that. Amazing. Beautiful lunch, beautiful wine, take away. Well, I just took my last dip in the Tyrrhenian Sea and uh, tonight we are just going to have a bottle of rosé and some pizza on our patio here at Atlantis. Um, oh, Tamina, you have been fabulous i have really really enjoyed it and yeah come join us for the next leg of our travels when we go to napoli and rome see you there